Hi, my name is Ken Kamistek and I'm a research engineer at Microfluidics. We're located just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, there are many traditions that can be found around the area. Uh, one of them is using food coloring to dye our beer green to celebrate the Irish influence in Boston. What we'd like to do today is use our LV1 processor to go ahead and make some green beer along with some other fun products. The reason that we're using the LV1 is that March 17th also is the birthday of the LV1. It was released last year. So what I'd like to do is start off with uh, some beer and show you the microfluidics way to make this green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let's get started. I've got all my key ingredients right here. First is a can of beer, the second is a Pyrex beaker, and the third is obviously the food dye. So what we're going to do, we'll get started with that, that very familiar sound. Pour the beer into the beaker itself. We'll set the beer aside for after production. I'm going to go ahead and pour the beer into a syringe located on the edge of the LV1. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of food dye. green beer that you can enjoy with all of your friends. Now let's move on to some corned beef cabbage and perhaps a nice salad. On that salad we'll serve our Irish dressing which we have uh, oil on the top and vinegar on the bottom. So you're all finished with dinner. I'm not sure if it's the cabbage or if it's that extra shot, but you're not feeling too great right now. You need something that's gonna help you feel a little bit better to get you through the rest of St. Patrick's Day. The little white pill. In this case, it is ibuprofen. The ibuprofen's gonna help you get through the rest of your day. One of the ways to make ibuprofen work a little bit more effectively is to reduce the particle size of the active ingredient. By reducing the particle size, it can target the exact spot in the body directly and be able to work even quicker. Take two weeks, call me on the 18th. So now that ibuprofen is finally starting to work, your aches and pains are going away. What about your hands? You've been opening up beer bottles all day long. It's true they're starting to get a little bit checked. I'd show you mine, but unfortunately the lab regulations mandate me keeping these gloves on. But we do have a cream here that we can use to process through our equipment that will improve those checked hands that uh, you've been dealing with all day. So keeping with our green motif, we will uh, add a little bit of green food coloring to an already existing white hand cream. And the reason that we're doing this is to show that by using the LV1, you can improve the quality or the brightness of things such as creams and cosmetics simply by using the microfluidizer processor. There you have it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed just a couple of the applications that we're able to work with here at Microfluidics. We'd like to invite you to come into our laboratory. Myself or one of my colleagues would be happy to work with your samples. We can make them green, we can make them smaller, we can try to deagglomerate them, or we can increase the stability. Thank you for helping to celebrate the first birthday of the LV1. Um, Please feel free also to visit us online at www.microfluidicscorp.com or on Twitter, Facebook, and even YouTube. I think that pretty much does it. It's time for me to catch what's left of the St. Patrick's Day holiday and enjoy some of, enjoy some of this green beer that I just made. Nastrovia! Until we meet again.